get into it soul not for sale podcast coach colin here we got joe rogan he is finally he went from sam altman saying he's the most neutral person when it comes to ai and here we are months later where joe has confirmed he will get the brain implant when it is available and has been tested more so than it has been so far you can hear it here yourself he's speaking with a gentleman named noland noland is the first person to ever get a neural link implant he's been using it he's a quadriplegic he's been using it he is at the point where he can play video games he can move cursors around just a little bit it's still in its infancy in regards to humans and what they can do but he is the first person with it and it's changed his life and I'm not happy about the technology at all. I think it's going to get pushed on us slowly through celebrities, through them saying, I'll try it and this and that. I think that's going to happen, but I am very happy for someone who is a quadriplegic who now has access to more and doesn't have to depend on people for at least something. You know what I mean? That kind of life has to be hard. So I completely feel for him. You're going to hear Joe Rogan talk about this in a second. Now, I just want to say really quick, amazing that Joe Rogan still stands his ground in telling experts what to do in AI, telling them that they're wrong. And even the guy who has the brain implant, he's telling him how things are going to be. Absolutely amazing. Standing on business, Joe Rogan. Don't forget about the new channel I got. Coach Colin Media, we got 137 videos up right now. It's going to be 140 by the day's end because I'm putting out three right after I'm done doing this video here. Hit that subscribe button. There's a link in the description. Other than that, folks, let's get to this Rogan clip. I think ultimately what it's going to do is it's going to be some sort of a mind interface. I don't think it's going to be as simple as language. I mm -hmm. think it's going to be a next level mind interface. And if it's something through a technology akin to, to Neuralink or maybe future versions of Neuralink, I think we're, we're going to be able to know what someone's actually thinking. I think you're, you're not going to be able to lie anymore is what I'm saying. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think lying is going to be possible 100 years from now, mm. which would be a really good thing. Yeah. If you're a person right now that lives your life without lying, yeah. you know this. This is way yeah. better. As a person who used to lie and doesn't lie ever now, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, it's great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing to not lie. Mm -hmm. And if you live your life in this manner where there cannot be deception, how much more would, would we get done? How much yeah. more would we understand each other in, in relationships? And, in, and if you're bullshitting, you'll understand that you're bullshitting by the way another person sees your thoughts. And then you'll be forced to handle those and go, you know what? I'm trying to put this off on other people, and it's really me. I'm yeah. the problem. Yeah. You'll be able to see it. Everyone yeah. will be able to see reality mm -hmm. instead of these sort of manufactured narratives that people have mm -hmm. with this very selective view of memory and the, their mm -hmm. thoughts of the past. And, you know, my boss did me wrong. No, you were a fuck up. You showed up late every day. <laughs> like, you know, and, uh, fucking, they fucking hated me. No, you were super insecure and real shitty around people. You know, it's like you'll yeah. see, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to solve a lot of our social issues that seem insurmountable because of poor communication, but yeah. poor understanding and, and the lack of honesty, a lack of li real honest conversations mm -hmm. instead of just people trying to win arguments. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, until people realize that, you know, maybe you don't need to lie. Exactly. Maybe you can find ways to work around having to lie with this thing. If you can't lie anymore, if you're not allowed to, I mean, people find ways to kind of sort of lie all the time. And yeah. then also if you can hack it and then you're able to lie and no one else is, then that becomes kind of an issue too. If in some way you are able to like jailbreak your Neuralink so you can't lie anymore and then you're the only one lying, everyone's going to believe you. Uh, they think that you can't lie and then that brings up a whole new world of problems. Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my eyes are seeing right into the thoughts. Oh, I see. I don't think you have a chance oh, yeah, to yeah, lie. Yeah. I don't think oh, there's okay. any, there's no, that doesn't exist anymore. I think, mm. I think it goes away and hence leaders go away. That's going to yeah. be a real problem. We're going to have yeah. to have actual understanding of all the different processes that are in play, whether it's environment or mm. resources or, you know, inter-country conflicts, whatever the fuck is going on. We're going to have a, we have to have a real understanding of it without politicians bullshitting us on, as to why we're going to do something that won't exist anymore. That would be wild. Yeah. They would be the ones that would resist it the most. They yeah. were like, we have this dangerous yeah. mind reading technology. <laughs> like if fucking Nancy Pelosi would have a press conference. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think if something like that ever came about, they would never let it happen. I don't think they have a choice. 
Because mm. China will do it, Russia will do it, everyone will do it. Someone's going to do it. All these eggheads out there that are willing to push that, but they're not going to listen to the government. Shut the fuck up. The government is just yeah. a bunch of people. The the super nerds out there are the ones who are really in charge of this stuff. Because even we're seeing this with technology and some of these hearings on AI, the people that are asking the questions don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure you saw that with uh, some of the Facebook hearings and some of the other hearings. Mm -hmm. The people that are actually asking about the tech, how much time do you have to get into the understanding of this? How much yeah. time between worrying about water rights in your district mm -hmm. and this and, and all these other problems that you mm -hmm. have as a politician? How much time are you actually spending trying to figure out how social media works? Yeah, probably none. They just have aides that are getting right. all this stuff. Yeah. That's why they have pieces of paper and yep. they're looking down with their reading glasses. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Zuckerberg, my yeah. phone doesn't go to Google, right? <laughs> why is that? <laughs> he's like, he's like <laughs> grandpas who argue on Facebook like they're, they're not going to be the people that control AI and they're not going to yeah. be the people that are going to be able to figure out how to stop mind reading technology I think when mind reading technology comes it's going to come so fast that it's going to be just like all these other things like the internet it came so fast they couldn't control it because if you looked at the internet if you looked at what, what the internet has done for like a distrust in mainstream media distrust in politicians mm -hmm. exposing corruption all the different things that mm -hmm. we know about now that are a fact that just 20 years ago you would have thought had been crazy conspiracy talk if they knew that that was going to happen and make life so much more difficult for them, they would have regulated the internet from the jump. They would have stopped, yeah. stepped in, took over like China did, took over like North Korea did, and you would get their version of the internet forever, and that's it, and there's no growth, and, there's, and they'll silence dissidents. And that's how they would have done it if they had ever known that it was going to be what it is now. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly what's going to happen with mind-reading software and mind-reading technology. I think it's going to happen. They're going to be... But, but, oh, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't think... You know, and also... Look, they're just human beings too. They're going to want that. Yeah. If they find out there's a technology that allows you to communicate with people in a completely new way and it's much more fulfilling and we understand each other much better and we really do realize that we are all one, yeah. imagine we can communicate with this technology and it ends war overnight. Yeah. It makes war literally impossible. You realize that these people that you're about to bomb are you and that we're all the same thing. We're all one consciousness experiencing itself through different bodies and different lives and different experiences and different genes and different parts of the world, but we're all genuinely the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It brings up a lot of questions, like where we would go from there, though. Like how it's going to change. Uh, that's when the aliens land. <laughs> yeah. The aliens land, we figure oh, it out. Man. Oh, finally. Oh, man, yeah. We were if waiting. That's, if that's what it takes to bring aliens down, then I'm all for it. If that's if that's what it takes to really get us to be face-to-face, -face, the only thing I keep telling my buddy is, like, I, I'm all down for the whole, like, aliens come in, us interacting with them and everything, as long as they're not the mantids. If they're right. the mantids people, I, I don't want anything to do with them. I think that, you know, I, I just don't want it. I'm with you, bro. Yeah. Fuck I, the mantis people. Dude. Can you imagine if mantises were, like, the size of a dog? We'd be so fucked. Yeah. We'd be so fucked. Yeah. One and of the most gangster videos I've ever seen online is like a gecko, and the gecko's trying to eat the mantis. <laughs> and the gecko walks up to the mantis and, and tries to get it, and the mantis is like, not today, bitch. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the gecko's like, what is happening? And you can see it look at its face. It's like so confused. Mm -hmm. And it's got its claws, these fucking, these giant things yeah. wrapped around and controlling. And it just starts eating its face. Yeah. yeah. Mantises are, like, insects themselves, like, you look really get up close to an insect, you're like, that thing is ugly. I do not like it one bit. Now imagine that. And the things I've heard about the mantids is they're not the size of a dog. They're like the size of like multiple people. And no thanks. Like, so absolutely th not. Th the mantis aliens I'm not too familiar with. I've seen like a couple things online. How many people have seen the mantis aliens? Yeah, I know of one story where there was a hunter um, just walking around and um, it, it got like dark over him or something. And he looked up. Uh, and there was just like a ship over him and he looked through a scope and he looked right into some like mantis people and um, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and I'm not okay with that I'm like that's the that's the one alien story I think I'll stay far away from and hope it's something else. Well, you got to think that Insects have some kind of bizarre intelligence because that's if you've ever seen leaf cutter ant colonies when they oh, yeah. they pour the cement in them And you realize like how sophisticated they are like mm -hmm. How did you guys do this? Like, yeah. how do you figure this out? There's like, yeah. they have channels where the air can pass through this so they can s ferment leaves. Mm -hmm. So they have like a fermentation factory inside mm -hmm. their ant colony. And the colony is huge. Yeah. It's so big. And you're like, you little tiny fuckers built a city mm -hmm. underground right here. There's got to be some sort of intelligence. Now, if ants evolved to the point where they developed that kind of intelligence, who's to say that in a different environment, where ants have more access to food, more access to resources, and more competition, that they don't evolve to the point where that intelligence, it keeps getting scaled up, and they get to like a human. Mm. Human level intelligence from an insect, mm. or beyond. Mm -hmm. 
Why not? Yeah, they just need some psychedelics or something to really get that brain to grow. Or a Neuralink. Yeah, right. That's what I have a feeling. I have a feeling that in the future, everyone's going to be some sort of a cyborg, and everyone else is going to be artificial. That there'll be complete life forms that were developed just with computers. Mm. Just complete, like computers, technology, whatever f- form of chips and and they'll put together things that are more intelligent than us, can communicate with us, can work with us, but that's going to be one of those things. It's not going to be one of us, and that'll be a, a different life form that exists alongside with us. But mm-hmm. I don't think there'll be very many people like me. No chip, no nothing, just a person. Like, like what yeah. is that moron doing? <laughs> You're running around with no chip. <laughs> you know, I think in the future, it's going to be everyone's going to have something that enhances them. Mm. We already do with our phones, Yeah. you know? Yeah. It's it's going to be something like beyond that where it's going to be so compelling that everyone's going to want to do it. Mm. So you're not going to get it if it comes out. I'm not saying I'm not going to get it. I might get it. Mm. I might have. I don't want to be alone. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be the only person who can't read minds. Um, I probably wouldn't want to be the first adopter. You yeah. know. Yeah. I want to wait a little bit. Yeah. That you was know? that was an argument that I had with doing this was do I really want to be the first? I mean, who knows what kind of problems there's going to be? But but I, yeah. for a guy like you, I would say like. <sighs> They, they're pretty sure it works yeah. and they were right. Yeah, you know and how cool was it the first day to be able to play video games? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was what really, did you really play? Cool. Um, uh, Civilization 6. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of it Man, I like that guy. I like that Nolan guy. He's pretty cool He uh, if you don't know about the story the second that he figured out he could play video games He played for 10 hours straight um, <laughs> That was the first breakthrough that Neuralink had was the guy that had it in him. This guy right here played it for 10 hours straight all through the night until like six in the morning, he said. So that's what people are going to do with it. Maybe. Obviously, that was just something he always wanted to do because he's a quadriplegic. He has not been able to play video games. He has a very tough life. You know, he talks about a little bit in the podcast just about how, you know, he goes from, you know, being able to do things to, Family has to bathe him. People have to be around him 24 seven. They have to pretty much take care of him. And having the neural link was the first time where he had some independence where he could just do it himself. I think in the future, people like this, Elon Musk sees it as he's going to be able to help this guy move again and actually get his motor skills and everything going. That's a possibility. I think if that is not a possibility, a guy like this will just upload himself into the metaverse and be able to walk around and be in there and he'll just stay in there. I know people right now who stay in the metaverse for like, I don't know, six hours at a time. So it's not out of the question completely. Very interesting guy. I'm going to Joe Rogan though. He has said he is going to take the chip. He is going to take it. You know why I find this so interesting? Because he was one of the first people to talk about Klaus Schwab and how crazy Klaus Schwab sounded when he said, and you and I will have the chip in our brain and we will not need elections because we will all know what each other think and there will be no need for voting. And we were, I was right along with Rogan. I was like, yeah, that's crazy. I don't want that. I found the clip of Klaus Schwab saying it. I was like, check this guy out. And people in the comments were like, Klaus Schwab's a terrible person. And now Rogan's like, yeah, I'll get the chip. It's like he just forgot that Klaus Schwab was talking about that. And the totalitarianism that could come about from everybody having a technology like that. Here's the thing with the internet and I'll just go through my notes, right? They were talking about regulation, but the thing is they do regulate the internet, right? Not to the here. It's not to the extent of Russia or China, but they do. And they are also working on regulating AI. So they will step in and regulate that, right? Neuralink. He's acting like, oh, they won't be able to stop it. You won't be able to lie, and that will get rid of leaders. Why would it get rid of leaders? Right now, (laughs) right now we have leaders who are telling us to use less carbon while they fly in private jets. They're telling us to eat less meat and that we will eat less meat while they are still eating meat. They're going to do the thing and be the way they want to be, and they're going to expect us to do the things. So they're not going to, you think Nancy Pelosi's going to be like, ah, oh, I got a brain play. Oh my gosh. They got the game brain. Oh, yeah. You think Biden, 
You think who's linking up minds to Biden? Are you crazy out of here? You think Trump's going to be like, oh, I'm getting the brain implant. You think that's happening? Are you crazy? You think the fake Ramaswamy's getting a mind implant? You think anyone from the deep state that we can't see or don't know about is getting a mind implant where they can't lie anymore? What? It's such it's all it's such a ridiculous notion to think that everybody in the world, especially the people with the most nefarious intent who have been in power for so long, are going to oh, I really, really want to know the thoughts of the other people. They're like, we know the thoughts already. We're, we're monitoring people 24-7. We have access to their phones, to their internet, to their webcams, to their videos. We have everything. We, we have their names. We have everything. I don't need to know anymore. We're good. <laughs> it's just guys like Joe that are going to be like, oh, I don't lie anyway. Come on. You know, it's going to turn into one of those things. You know, if it gets real nefarious, it's going to turn into one of those things like, what do you have to hide? Hey, Mark, what are you hiding? Why won't you get the implants? Are you hiding things from us? Silly, silly stuff. Very silly stuff. Okay, uh, deep state will con won't control AI. And that's the thing. You think deep state won't control this type of technology. You have to think. There is a leash on the internet. And I just did a video about this on my other channel, how the governments of the world are all coming up with the same weird laws and ideas at the same time a lot of these leftist regimes are coming up with the same ideas same laws same laws towards speech same laws towards internet safety you think that they're not going to try and take control of this all it's going to do if we all get this like rogan is fantasizing is it's just going to be thought police they're going to moderate the same way they monitor the the internet same way they monitor the phones same way they monitor the email, everything. They're going to monitor that too. And what it will what will happen is you, there will be zero chance of any type of dissent whatsoever once they get that type of a leash on us cuz that's what it'll be. It'll be the ultimate ultimate golden handcuffs where you will feel like you're this advanced being, but in real reality you just become a technological dog of sorts. Now, <laughs> I'm a little biased because I don't like this stuff at all. But I will say also, uh, why wouldn't they stop at them? So, again, you know, just going back to what I said before, w what politician is going to get this? Why would they Why would they do this? They're going to let the masses do it, and they're not going to do it, obviously. And then um, hacking and lying. So this guy, this guy Nolan, he brings up a great point. He's like, there's going to be people who hack it. And Rogan's just like, nah, I'm just, uh, you know, you're just going to be able to see right into the thoughts. It's like, this is not a Maple Leaf world. This is the real world. People hack things. Once the technology exists, people figure out a way to hack it. I remember when the iPhone came out and we were like, whoa. And then all of a sudden, a 13-year-old was like, you want me to jailbreak your iPhone? You're like, what? What are you going to do? Oh, I just go inside of it and I just, you go inside this phone? It was mind-blowing. And the next thing you know, everybody could do it. So, of course, people are going to be able to hack this thing. They're going to be able to hack your thoughts and get in there and do all sorts of stuff. Quadriplegic, they might make you move around. Who knows? And then working around lying. Of course, you're going to be able to work around lying. There are people right now who have Twitter accounts who aren't real people. They act like they're black. They're actually white. They act like they're Asian. They're actually black. There's a lot. They're, they act like they're men. They're actually women, vice versa. There's a whole lot of this already going on. So he's 100% right. And Joe Rogan's just like, nah, nah, that's not going to happen. That's not how it happens. <laughs> that's how it always happens. And let's just go down this thought process a little bit. If you do figure out, if the world does become the, a bunch of people, a bunch of you crazy people, because it ain't going to be me, get this technology, and now you have thoughts that are inter just uh, instantly accessed by other people you will develop the brain power to only allow people into these thoughts and you're going to keep these thoughts private it's going to be like a house you let your you let your friend into your living room you let him into the backyard you let him use the washroom downstairs but when it comes to your wife's underwear drawer 
in the master bedroom, you're not letting them in. How about that? You need a private space. The same thing's going to happen with this technology. It's not, no one's just, I don't see anybody just giving into this type of thing. Now I'm going to end it with this. I've brought this up before. Gary V, if you don't know Gary Vaynerchuk, he's a great social media marketer. He understands social media on a high level. I noticed something that he was doing, a little bit of this predictive programming. He used to talk about, and he was heavily invested in Facebook. Remember this, okay? This is before all the Twitter files and Facebook files and knowing about how connected to certain you know organizations these social media companies are. He used to say all the time, he'd be like, what I want everybody to do, had thousands of followers, he'd be like, I want you all to act like you never have any privacy at all. He goes, that's how I act. I act like I'm being watched 24 seven. And there were a bunch of people who were really into this guru stuff who were following him and being like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to act that way too. And then it comes out the Twitter files. And then it comes out. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg is on Joe Rogan. And he says, well, the FBI just said that the laptop was Russian disinformation. So we just throttled it down and threw it away and didn't let people post about it. Then we found all that out. And I just found it very interesting that this guy who's heavily invested in social media companies was telling everybody to act like they have zero privacy whatsoever, 24 seven. And then all of that came out. And now we have Rogan. I love him. I love him. He's right there. I love him. But now we have other people and it's going to, it's going to be Rogan. It's going to be other people as well saying, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I get this thing? Yeah, I don't want to be the first person, but you won't be able to lie. It'll be a good thing. You know, I just, I try, no matter who it is and how much I admire them, I always try to notice any predictive programming going on around me and being said to me. So I'm just going to end it there. Let me know what you're going to do. Are you getting this implant? Let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest. It is intriguing. It is. But I know this, and this is just me. This is my thought process. I know that humans are very divine and that there's something very special about us. And I have a good feeling. Just, I don't even have my phone near me. Just based on our phone and the technology that we have now and how much it veers us away from being quiet, being silent, being more engaged with people, it takes us away from our divine nature ever so slightly what we have currently if we give in to this it will take us completely off the path of what how we're naturally supposed to evolve and put us on this path of having to depend on the people who make technology in order to evolve and that's not a place that i want to be in so as intriguing as it is just like sin just like doing bad things just like going back to the life that I used to live, it's intriguing at times. I smell a little marijuana smoke, I get intrigued. Oh, what kind is that? I wanna, but I don't go to it because I know what road it'll take me down. That's just me, you might feel differently. Let me know in the comments. Other than that, guys, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Other than that, I'm out.